going on YouTube? Kevin Q. Well, had a big couple of days, but uh, it's almost time to wrap it up for the weekend. Time to get the car clean. Yeah, we I uh, have a bit of a weekend routine uh, to get myself sorted, ready uh, to go back to work on Sunday because the weekends here at Qatar are Friday and Saturday. Uh, typical weekends, finish work on Thursday, straight to the dive center, get loaded up, ready for Friday, early start. So Fridays, typically, I'm... Um, pretty tired and wore out just from work and uh, diving on the Friday. So I'll get up when I get up on, uh, on Saturday, whenever that may be. I just turn my alarm clock off. Uh, typically I get, do get up early. I'm so used to getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning anyway through the weekend to go to the beach. Uh, and yeah, get myself sorted out depending on how I feel go across and get my truck cleaned which is where I'm heading now from there it's anybody's guess I am running a little bit later than normal today because I took uh, my darling wife Justine out for dinner to a nice French restaurant which was uh, nice You know, I mentioned earlier about 50 Riel, but just to put it into perspective, 50 Riel in Qatar is like 13 US dollars or 20 Australian dollars. I think that is probably one of the best deals in the world uh, when you consider they wash the car, clean the car inside and out, also clean out the tray. Uh, you've got the option of getting the engine bay cleaned out and um, it looks like a brand new car at the end of it you know i mean i just uh, i cannot believe how uh, how cheap it is they, these guys do a really good job i always make a point of giving them a tip because they work hard it's stinking hot they work here all day it's stinking hot and uh they deserve it because they do do a good job what do you got inside outside yeah. Yeah. Uh, back jack up yeah Everything. Everything, yeah. You need Indian also, sir? No. That's it, now this week. Yeah, that's another one done. That's good, we uh, timed it very well. Not much of a wait at all. Awesome. Well, I'm having a sometimers moment this morning. Can't figure out how to use my GoPro. <laughs> a plan for today. Who knows? Um, I'll have to think about it. Get the car washed, maybe go for a swim by the pool, uh, do some editing, sort out my dive gear, maybe have a coffee. Love the coffee here at the gas station. And uh, just see what the see what the day brings, I guess. Okay, and just like that, it's my turn to get in there. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my god. <clears throat> Time to get this thing in the right spot on the lift, but we'll see how we go. Old buddy is uh, giving me directions. Back it up. Toss, how are you? Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the back as well, okay? Open that. Oh. All right. Now it's time for our coffee.
You had to be careful uh, walking across there when it's really busy. You've been nearly been run down a couple of times. It's crazy. Anyway, dying for a coffee. Closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Stop! There we go. Tell you what, though, uh, I got out of that fairly well because uh, typically this place on a Saturday morning is just crazy. All right, back to the house, I guess. Uh, guys did a good job as usual. You can see the inside of the truck's nice and tidy and clean again. Um, gave him a nice tip, like I said. I mean, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning here yet, and it's already touching 35 degrees Celsius for you Americans and it is humid one thing I must remember a bit of a note to oneself when we take the GoPro out take the charging cable or take a spare battery because this sucker is running hot and just about ready to die so I'll see you back at the house so just quickly before the battery dies this is my truck, in case you've never seen it before. I'm sure you have. It's been on the sand and everything else. I love my truck. 2013 GMC Sierra. <coughs> Stock standard. Nothing special about it. It's got a uh, small lift kit just for when we're going to the beach and uh, doing doing stuff. Uh, it's fire engine red. And uh, yeah, I love the, love the crap out of it. I really do. It's, uh, it goes everywhere. It can be a bit of a pain in tight parking spaces around town, but uh, that far outweighs the fact that I can carry what I want, I can go where I want, on the beach, inland sea, uh, sea line, uh, out to Dukan, things like that. It's comfortable, it's got a comfortable ride. Really love it. I've got a bunch of towing gear, four-wheel drive stuff in the back as well. But yeah, that's my truck.
Alright, so this is our spare room. A bit of a mess, and this is what I'm going to sort out. Uh, it's my dive gear back. Everything else is back at the dive center. I'm going to clean that this afternoon. Need to sort all this out with my camera gear over there. I need to get that sorted out. Uh, let me come back after my swim. So one of the good things about living in an apartment is you can go to the pool anytime you want. You don't have to worry about the maintenance of it. Exactly. Exactly. And it's beautiful. Oh, just what the doctor ordered. Nice little swim. Warm day. Pool's not too cold. Pool's not too hot. So sad, so sad. 